Oh, oh shit. shoot. Holy <laughs> crap. I was so scared. <laughs> How? And hello, hello, everybody. This is old Tony, and we are back for the real episode three of uh, Sky, uh, Sky Factory 2.5. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, we've done some things. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> I still have uh, Exiron and Hats with me. I, I can kind of howdy. see them back there now. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Horrible F5 mode. Okay. So, uh, But yeah, they've done some work here. Just a tiny bit off camera. Not that much. Didn't really build yeah, anything. Just a tiny just, bit. Just upgrade. Just slight upgrades. Yeah. Okay, well, so so, so take, take me through the things that have been upgraded here. Yeah, so when we left off, we had uh, started building Cobble Gen. We hadn't quite completed it. Um, and what had happened was we recorded it about 15 minutes of our third episode, and uh, my hard drives got full. So <laughs> we stopped recording Fail. unintentionally. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can thank me for, for missing some of the uh, action here. So how does this well, work? We, uh, let's, let's, let's we set up a nice automated or uh, uh, efficient uh, early game cobble gen. So what this does, you've got lava in the middle here. If I break center block, you'll see. Oh, let me get it. And this center block, you've got one lava source. You've got four flowing water that just goes straight into the void. Nice. And the lava flows out in each direction, making four cobblestone. Which that is huge. Vein miner. This is the only reason this works so well. Yeah. So with vein miner, you hold your grave key or whatever you've mapped it to, and bam, Oof. you get four. That is so Boom huge. Dynamite. And we can actually expand this as well. To do basically yep. this setup, just copy it right next to each other, and we can oh, get yeah, more. Oh yeah, like like build on on the corners, on the yeah, sides. Just the continue. Yeah. It's, it's like a puzzle piece. You could create a bunch of these and put them next to each other. Exactly. And by using vein miner, you only need the corners to be touching. They don't even have yeah. to be set side. To side. Oh, that's, so by doing that, you amazing. can scale this in each direction. In fact, we might do that with just one or two extra source yeah. blocks. I don't want to go too crazy. To get just a little bit more cobble. I mean, yeah. you, you can get nine cobble per. Per operation, that's pretty quick. I mean, we're we're not too far away from automating this, anyways. Yeah. In fact, I might just skip that and just throw a yeah. A oh, that's true. I think we've got enough. Stuff that being for it. said, uh, off camera, we did a little bit of grinding for some resources. As you can see, we've got a heavy oak sieve as well as a regular oak sieve. Yep. The heavy oak sieve allows you to take compressed gravel, sand, or dust and sieve it for a little less efficient but faster on the time factor so it's a little oh, bit quicker cool. okay yeah so that's the thing that i yeah that's the thing that i was making in the in the first recording uh, right so three yeah <laughs> yeah so the piece that we missed yeah and we've got our crucible set up we got that set up uh, in episode two mm -hmm. uh, we've been yeah, collecting them just a little bit we're just about so seven buckets seven of lava buckets. in here so that'll yeah. be good for us <clears throat> sweet and then uh dan you want to show off what you've been working on over so there so i <laughs> That uh, mob farm I built doesn't really wasn't really working too well, so I just sat there and grinded out a bunch of cobblestone and upgraded. So we got a, three different drop zones, which I've never done before, but we'll see if it if it works. Yeah, it's cool. And up top, out. I changed it yeah. so that you don't come up into it right in the middle because <laughs> that sucks when there's mobs. Because yeah. that's safe. Um, yeah. I, I left it the same height. I think it was like forty three or forty four blocks, something like that. Um, because we how just want to, we many... just want them to die. We don't want to. Yeah, we just want the drops. It, it at least has to be how how many? Do you remember? Uh, for for Enderman, it has to be forty four. I think. Okay, forty four. But then we're gonna have some special mobs that may survive the fall, um, because they have more health or more armor or whatever. So this is the inside, and these slabs actually do block the light. So this will be a totally dark room once I close oh, nice. that door right there. Okay, minus um, any light that comes in from below. Yeah, which will be minimal. Pretty minimal. So we just need to open these up, and we'll close the door and drop the torches. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see the spawn spots. I've got the F7 mode turned on right now, so I can see. Yes. It. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, in these modded packs, it's pretty common now. F7 will show light levels as a nice grid. Red means oh, yeah. mobs can spawn basically at any point in time. Uh, yellow is uh, medium. There is a little bit of light seeping in, so nighttime is the only time they will spawn on these yellow areas. 
So okay. I'm gonna Until he puts a door in, right? Yeah. Except yeah. for you put a door in, and you'll notice all the yellow is gone. No, it's the all yellow's red. gone. It's all red. Sweet. So as soon as we get out of range, this should start, should start spawning quite a bit of guys. And then on top, I did just did the slabs on the bottom side of the block, so there's no spawn locations up here. So oh. makes it easier. Holy fuck! Yeah. This is scary, man. And there you go. You get the cave noises. You know you did it right. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I, I, I did. I did die uh, while I was building this, just because I, I wasn't really paying attention. And then from the top, I just flew right off. Well, and then I noticed this as well. Down here. <laughs> yeah, so that's yes. another, that was another episode. I was <laughs> While I was grinding out some uh, cobblestone, I was actually watching the basketball game, and I looked away for a second, and I vein mined the floor, which meant that I fell through, and I ended up falling into the void and dying. So when I revived, or uh, respawned, I, I uh, followed the flow of the water down and built some cobblestone around my gravestone and actually got my stuff back, which was awesome, and then built oh, just like a little awesome. platform around it. So if okay. we fall again, we should be able to land down there. <laughs> and for the future, if we ever want to build something down at Y1, that's yeah. a good start. Why not? Yeah. You'll see uh, the storage drawers mod has storage drawers. It's pretty straightforward. But the yeah. big thing, especially in this pack, is the compacting drawer. It's yeah. kind of a grayish. Um, you can also search compacting drawer. Hold and what 16 that does, stacks per drawer. What it does, and this is the amazing part, like I said, for this pack, is any block you put in there, if it can be compressed in a 9x9 nine nine or even a 4x4 four four grid, it will automatically compress it and yeah. store basically that item in both forms. Um, so in our case for cobblestone, when you put cobblestone in one of those compacting drawers, it will make cobblestone, compressed cobblestone, and double compressed cobblestone. And you can use the storage drawer as a quick way to retrieve those items in any of those forms you need. So what I like to do is put the transfer node right into one of those compacting storage drawers, right. and you have all three compressed versions ready whenever you want. You can just walk over, punch it like you would any barrel, right. and get that version of the cobblestone. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice and efficient. Um, you can pull out the compressed cobblestone and then use vein miner and your uh, hammers to, uh, you'll want to use the compressed hammers on compressed cobblestone, but you can get basically nine gravel for every one compressed cobblestone and you don't have to do the crafting yourself. So it skips that's a step, cool. makes it more efficient. Well, and with the storage drawers, you can also set up uh, like a control node and you can pull out specific mm -hmm. things without having to go to each chest. Yep. Um, and so it's it's like a, it's like a primitive version of that big computer uh, computer storage thing that was on the last applied energistics. Applied energistics. Yeah. That one last thing we got to mention. Let's, oh, let's all <laughs> gather around for a moment of silence. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Here we go. I have this. <laughs> oh, that's all that remains of him. R.I.P. <laughs> Eliezer. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. He got a little crazy. He went up to the mob farm and he tried to dive into the water and he fell just <laughs> short. Well, I think he, I think he had a mental dis uh, problem because he was, had someone talking to him. He was hearing voices. <laughs> oh yeah, the British. He lady. just went. He just went crazy. Yeah, he said he heard a British lady and just <laughs> you now he's climbing up tall ladders and jumping off the... Oh, oh I just looked in Enderman. Who oh, or somebody did. <laughs> oh, well, it's raining, so we might be safe. I heard it. Let's go see if I got I any did, drops here. Did look up there. Ooh. Oh, there was a... Look at all this good stuff. So what are you thinking over here? Hats. Are so you, you I'm going to work this? on a smeltery. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the layout, though. How should we do this? I think we should do a five by five and keep it centered. So let's see, spawn well, block I mean. center I is this it? tree. I would put it. I would center it on. Should I center it, or should we leave that stone. open for a walkway? Ooh, good point. Maybe I'm thinking. Maybe I'll put it right here. You I'll put it over here. Yeah, extra okay. out this way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've also got an uncommon loot bag. I've been holding on to. Ooh, nice. So. uh Maybe what I'll do at the end of this episode, I'll open it up, see what we got. No, 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 no. No? Save them. Save, Save it? Yeah, we want to upgrade them.
Okay, we'll save it. What we'll do, we'll save all of our loot bags and, and build up to a legendary. How's that? Sweet. All right. Let's put them in, uh, I guess this one. Middle chest. I got a five. And just so you know, you, if, if you peek in them at all, they uh, can't be crafted. Ooh, okay. nice little platform. Yeah, just for now, and then I'll expand and make it more when I have more stuff. I only have one seed. I don't want to go crazy. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the key word. Yeah. Next, nice. we need a world interaction upgrade. Here, as you can see, make an iron pickaxe, four iron surrounding it, and four lapis in the corners. It's amazing. It's like it's like I'm watching this old Minecraft house. <laughs> 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 we got Bob Vila or whatever the name. Yeah, Bob name Vila. Was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, another Here's haste level on my pickaxe. I have three haste level. Yeah, three haste levels on there now. Sweet. Oh, guys. Sweet. Cobble is generating automatically. Woohoo! Fantastic. Look at this. Let's go check it out. Little transfer node. Portal interaction upgrade. Obviously, there we'll switch that out for yeah. the compressor. I was going to say, we got, a, yeah. we got a Java barrel, or we could do this, but I'm going to, I'm actually going to work immediately on getting a uh, compacting storage drawer. Those are actually fairly inexpensive. I mean, they're not super cheap. God, that's so cool, dude. That's really, uh, that's really Can cool. Can I use some of this iron to make a, uh, whatchamacallit, hopper? Uh, yes, you may. I need two iron ingots and then I'm good. All right, I got two on me right now. Here. Oh, Where are you at? perfect. Oh, you got them? Nice. Uh, oh, somebody sorry, have a I bucket, by the way? Three, so. Uh, we'll get a bucket here in just a second. Okay. I just didn't know if we had one yet. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to make uh, this compacting drawer. Take, we need, what's the light on my F7? All right, Toby. Four, here we go. We need two pistons. Means we need two more redstone. Right. I'm assuming you want water in it. Right, right there, yeah. You can there you drop go. it in there for me. Oh, all right, thank you, sir. Just two pistons. Now, like, uh, do you guys have a preference on uh, storage drawer color? Should we use spruce or oak? Oak would I, look yeah. good. Yeah, oak I, definitely you know, looks good. Uh, spruce is nice. It's kind because of, it's a little bit darker. Or spruce kind of stands I mean, out. A that's bit. what I meant. Spruce. Yeah, the darker one. Yeah, yeah. spruce. Yeah. Okay. Do do that. We'll probably wait till uh, next episode. Um, yeah, I'll get which... everything together. I think we're uh, and, uh, about ready to are end we it. Really? Holy crap! Yeah, we've been going to town. We get yep. an apple. Enjoy an apple as we end it. Oh yep. yeah. <laughs> Here you go. I'll pretend I'm eating it because I'm uh, I'm full. Oops, sweet. Yeah. I'm Wonderful. This uh, farm looks great. All right. Great start for this little it's farm. It's the beginning. Here. We're uh, making progress. Together. Progress. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next thank one. You, thank you. See ya. See ya. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
fucking blew up. Oh. And I, I did I, I call to, that or did I call that? You did. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Because here's what happened. I couldn't close the door with having because I, I was holding shift. Yeah. And so I had to release shift and turn around and open and shut the door from the other side, and then he <laughs> blew up. So I'm sorry I blew up your. Uh, your no, it's fine. Thing. I needed to rework it anyways. Oh, and I'm on top oh, of a tree. Everybody, that is how Toby died. Hey, and I totally <laughs> called it.